So last night for the Deep Creek Bridge replacement project, we were placing a, uh, in the coffer cell, a wit trimmy, which is uh, about 10 feet of concrete, about 1,300 cubic yards. And the intent for that is to build a, a support structure to put the bridge house on. Well, that is basically, the trimmy is the foundation that will support the bridge structure that will open and close the bridge. Because of the traffic that we have here, we had to close down the South George Washington Highway so that we could bring the concrete trucks in, would be about 130 concrete trucks. So the city said that we had to do that at night and on a weekend so that we wouldn't disturb a lot of the traffic. So that was kind of the reason why we had to do it at night. And on an unusual project, you would do that during the daytime because you wouldn't have all the traffic that's around this area. This bridge is nearly 100 years old, and it was designed for a time period that was much different than today's traffic and the needs of the public. Today, we on average see over 30,000 vehicles a day traveling through here. So that's, that's the overall mission of this bridge, is to provide safe access to both navigation and to the public. And with this type of bridge, you actually have to build it off-site. So there's lots of working parts, cross state lines, a lot of coordination, both at the federal and the state level. It, it has a process, but we're charging through 